G, thanks for talking to us here on um, on Blues TV. Um, we sit here in a week where you've just made your full league debut against the league's top goal scorers and favourites to be promoted. Before we come on to how you feel the team performed, that was some baptism of a fire for you, wasn't it? Yeah, man, it's all about the experience, really. Just enjoying the moment. Uh, we knew it was coming up against. Uh, we watched their clips and obviously you don't need to be a genius to see where they are in the league, so we knew it co uh, coming up against. But I thought, yeah, man, the boys done well. Uh, me personally, I didn't think I'd done too bad as well. My first start against a, a big team like that. I uh, just thought we deserved a little bit more, to be fair, with the chances we had. Not many 20-year-old centre-halves are playing championship football at the at the moment. You had to get to grips with the pace fairly quickly on in the game. How much did you learn during those 90 minutes? Yeah, like I said, uh, in the first like 20 minutes, I learned quickly that you can't, can't mess around. And then I thought as it went on... Uh, I grew into the game slowly and established myself bit by bit. But like you say, I'm young in the aspect that when you look at centre-backs in other teams, they do tend to be the more senior players. So I tried to fit in as much as I can. Obviously, being a captain, like leading up to the 23s as well, I do feel like, a, like I can try and assert some authority slowly. Now, I know you made your senior debut against Portsmouth in that Carabao Cup fixture early on in the, the season, but did this feel like another step up because it was such an important league encounter? It was almost like a, a second debut of sorts. Yeah, defo. It was uh, completely different. Like you say, a bit more nerves in this one because I was playing at home as well, so all the fans are there. Uh, and of course, like you know what you're coming up against, there was a big threat. So, But like I say... I thought we dealt with it well as a whole team and uh, preparing on the day for it. It just could have went better, but as you say, things happen, that's football. So, When did you find out that you were in the, the side and, as you mentioned, maybe one or two two nerves uh, ahead of the game, but was it the excitement as well mixed in there? Yeah, of course. I found it on the Friday, to be fair. I literally had no idea because in my head I thought, like, is he really going to throw me into a game like that? So that's why I was like... Uh, a bit 50-50 and then I found out on the Friday and I thought, you know what, like, this is, this is my chance really. And uh, so, yeah, I just turned up on Saturday, tried to do as, as best as I could. Like I always do, just try my best and uh, come out happy. There were some senior boys alongside you as well, the captain himself playing alongside you. You've got Max and, and Christian as well, all senior players in there. How much did they help on the day? It's not just them, it's all the boys, to be fair, like when I've come into the first team, they've all been friendly and like you say, especially like H and them, they've been a big help and in the game as well, he just kept talking to me, uh, just like, re it was reassuring me as well, like saying when I was doing well, what, like I could have done better, but now it was a big help, obviously with Max, all the players, in fact, you can't really single them out, so i just like to thank them for that. You've been training with that? first team group and in and around Pep's thinking for some time now. I know you had the hernia problem in the summer, but did you feel like you were getting closer? You know, every month that passed, you were always being involved. You were in front of the gaffer showing him what you could do. Did you feel like you were taking steps to get to where you got to on Saturday? Yeah, like you said, with the hernia operation, I was just uh, I was a bit gutted to be fair because I missed out in pre-season and that was like a big thing for me. It hit me, but I knew that like with this gaffer, as you can see, he's, he's playing the youngsters. Uh, like if I work hard, I'm going to slowly make it up then. Like my performances with the 23s and then when I was training with them, like not every day, but two, three times a week, I was like kind of showing them what I could do. Uh, and then with my consistent performances in the 23s and then when it, I eventually moved up with them, I've just proved to him that like you can trust me a bit. So I'm thankful that you gave me the chance. You mentioned the 23s. Just how far away from under-23s football was, was that on Saturday? There seemed to be a big gulf in difference. Yeah, of course. Like With the 23s, especially since I moved up to training with the first team, it kind of became a bit easy. Like I was just not going through the motions, but things were becoming a bit easier, and I think everyone could see that. Uh, but like you say, that's yeah, what all the players get paid the big bucks for in the top league. So Especially then, like you say, they bought off Charlie Austin off the bench and then score two and wins you the game. That's the type of players you're coming up against now. So this is all a good learning curve. Everyone who makes that step up to first team sites, the pace and just the speed and the tempo of the game is, is the main difference. Did you find that relatively early on in the game? Yeah, of course. Because uh, obviously it was a bit of a messy game, to be fair. It wasn't really like people were playing uh, quickly on the floor. But with the strikers' movements, uh, and obviously playing its men, Everyone's going to be bigger, stronger, faster, so you have to deal with that quickly. So I kind of learned my lessons quicker. Uh, 
than I would normally. And uh, I thought going to the game, like you said. Looking ahead and away from that West Bromwich Albion game, it's Hall City on, on Saturday, another trip on the road. Is the hope that we go there, and as this group has all season, in that you show no fear, no matter who the opposition is, whether it be a West Bromwich Albion, a free scoring side, or you go on the road to Hull City, there's a real belief that you can go and get three points. Yeah, every every game like is is just as important as like any other one. There's not one that's more important. But like I say, with the performance, I think we showed on Saturday the fight that the whole team showed. I don't see why we can't go now for the rest of the season and build a consistent like performance in every game. We look to win a home or away. Like we've got to like stamp down our authority. I think now we've uh, obviously implied this new uh, footballing style of play. So I think just taking it step by step, really. But I think now, like the the team's starting to gel a bit. Obviously, with a few injuries that kind of knocked it off balance. But got to back to uh, got to get back to where we left that really, and try to get back up the table again. You talk about the style of play now, and I think one of the characteristics of this season and this Pep Platet side is the faith that he's shown in young players. When you look at Jude becoming a regular, a big breakthrough season for him, Odin Bailey making an impact as well. I know you're good friends with both of those, but it must be encouraging for you to know as a 20-year-old defender that if you're good enough, you're old enough in the eyes of the man that matters in, in the manager. Yeah, it's extra, extra motivation. Uh, like you say, you look at Jude, he's, he's 16. You don't need to look like... Kind of look in England. You look in the whole world. He's a 16-year-old playing in a top league like that, and uh, performing on a consistent basis as well. He's become like one of the main players, established players. So when you look up to that, and then you see Odin Bailey, like obviously coming on against Middlesbrough, grabbing the, the the three points, kind of motivates you, and you think, yeah, I want to do that next. So I'm just happy for them as well. Do you know what I mean? But got to slowly get there as well. So. But that seems to be the theme among all the boys, whether it's Jude making his debut, scoring at Charlton, Odin scoring that late winner. I know you've been inundated with messages after Saturday as well. Everyone at the club, players that you've played with at 23's level, coaching staff, people associated with the club are genuinely pleased to see young players. That must be a fantastic environment. It must spur you on to want to continue that progression. Yeah, I've said this before in like my previous interviews. Obviously, we went on that youth cup run and then like with the 23's in the final. There's a good uh, like vibe around the place and everyone feels confident in each other. And so when someone gets up there, everyone's happy. Obviously, the 23s boys, they all come to the to the game to watch. So it was good. It was good. Like, just happy. Everyone's happy. Uh, tell us about your route into the club. I know you've mentioned it in seasons gone by when you've signed contracts. and But I think it's a fantastic example for young players who perhaps don't get accepted at the first or even the second time of trying to have that perseverance. And, and you're a fantastic example of that. Yeah, so like I've said before, I had two previous trials and I wasn't accepted and then coming the third time. But the lesson I kind of got from that was just working harder. Show to them that you can improve uh, every time. Improvement is the main thing. If you don't improve, then you, you ain't getting nowhere in life, really. So with hard work, nothing comes. And I thought just I tried to get through uh, that message to other players as well, like the ones, like you say, the youngsters coming through. But yeah, hard work, perseverance, and I think improvement's the, the main things. Is that probably the, the big positive and the big plus point that you've had is you've always had something to prove. You know, when you've had doubters before at the club, didn't fancy signing you the first time around, the second trial, unsuccessful. You've always had to go back and work hard, and that's probably set you up for now to kick on again. It's just extra motivation. I've said this before, like when someone says no to me, like, it gives me a bit of a buzz, you know, like I want to prove them wrong. And I think coming up to this point now, like on Saturday, I kind of proved a point to everyone and I hope to continue that. Big season as well on the international level, recognised by your country, Albania, at under-21s. I know you spoke about your family being a big part, particularly your mother as well. How proud a moment was it for them? Take us back to when you first got that call-up. Yeah, no, of course. I think my dad and mum like, were more nervous than me on the day, to be fair. I remember saying that. and uh, But now they're happy. Like They just want to... Everyone wants to see their child do well, do you know what I mean? But And I kind of want to make them proud because they've sacrificed a lot as well for me, so it goes both ways, the love. And I suppose when you look at senior level, you have to continue to play well for your club and who knows what's around the corner. Yeah, like I said, I'll try to take it uh, step by step. So I can't look too far ahead in the future. I look to like the next few games more than anything, but just keep working in training and then in games try to develop that consistency and experience because that comes comes with it, really. That's it. Just looking ahead now, five games in two weeks over Christmas. There's going to be plenty of opportunity for, for everyone in the squad to get game time. Now you've been given that shirt, 
and that, that confidence by Pep to put you in. Is it up to you now to make sure that you keep it? Yeah, of course. I'm I'm the one playing, so I've got just got to prove to him that I can be consistent and be reliable. Uh, obviously, in the game, there was a few rocky patches, but then as I grew into it, I started developing well. So in 90 minutes, I thought I learned well. So in the next 90, I feel like I could learn better. But that's experience that you build up. So I'm hope I showed uh, from that game that you can slowly rely on me. Finally, G. Just looking ahead now to the rest of the season, we're going to reach the halfway point on Saturday. 23 games gone in the Championship. Um, what's a good season for this group of players? Because it, it feels like we're not too far away from putting a good run of results together. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a new project, really. Like you say, you don't need to be a genius to see what, what's going on around the club. And uh, we just need to develop that consistency in games, I think. Uh, because we've had games where we've done really well and then some games where we haven't. And I think for this next half of the season, we just need to look to get a good run of games. And sometimes that sets you off. Like you look at a few teams last season in the championship that got them, you shot them up the table. So it's just about getting them consistent season games. Jeep, thanks for talking to us. Congratulations on your full league debut and I look forward to watching you for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.